Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to another vlog. So today I'm just gonna be vlogging for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys a lot of like home decor DIYs that I'm doing. But I just wanted to like come in here first and talk to you guys a little bit because I wanted to mention some updates. I'm sorry about the mess in the background. I'm actually cleaning right now. I am moving things around and yeah, everything is a mess right now. Okay, I'm gonna sit, I sit down on the floor so that way I could talk to you guys because I was gonna get tired holding my tripod, my camera. Um, okay, so one of the things that I wanted to update you guys is my uploading videos. So I did a poll where I asked you guys what day you guys wanted me to upload videos and I forgot what days I put, but I know that the majority of you guys said Saturday which i was gonna do saturdays because i feel like it was like the best time also for me but i noticed that sometimes i'm not able to post on saturdays just because it, the video doesn't upload i don't know if it's just my videos or my internet that is so shitty that it just takes me a whole day to upload a video and the videos are not even that long usually my videos are like what like 10 minutes sometimes the most 15 minutes they're not even that long and it does take me a whole day so usually when i'm uploading a video i'll be done filming and whatever i'm doing like by, maybe by friday and i'm done editing and then saturday is when i want to upload and i start by in the morning so it could be like midday and it's not done until night and then once it's done until night i feel like it's too late for me to upload a video i don't like um uploading videos like super late so yeah i don't think that's gonna work I will try to do Saturdays, but I think most likely it's going to be Sundays because just of the issue of uploading, if for some reason the video does upload on Saturday, I'll post it on Saturday, but most likely I think it's going to be Sundays. Um, and I'm trying to post once a week. I won't make promises because sometimes it just depends Like if in the week I'm not feeling well. I want to do a video about that and like, ugh, I just keep on like not wanting to talk about it because... I don't know it's just I, I don't like to I don't know sometimes I don't like talking about my emotions sometimes I do so it just depends on the day but I do have to tell you guys like you know how I feel and stuff like that and how like quarantine affected me all of that but that will be another video because in this one I'm gonna make this vlog super long but yeah so sometimes it just depends of the week sometimes I don't feel like picking up the camera or anything so I'm really really trying though to focus and really upload once a week because I really want to grow my channel I really want to uh, put up videos for you guys to watch and connect with you guys and yeah I know this intro is super long but one more thing that I want to update you guys with you guys could probably tell my hair and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram then you guys wouldn't know that I did dye my hair I did it myself <laughs> it's not completely done um, right now actually Put a little bit of coconut oil because it is a little bit dry because of the bleach but i did like the split hair color which is like kind of like just my bangs and then it has a little bit like down here i have it up right now and i don't want to put it down because it's super greasy i'm about to go shower in a bit so yeah so i'll do another video where i'll show you guys how my hair looks and once i'm like done dyeing it and everything i am probably gonna um put a little bit of silver uh semi-permanent color so it kind of removes a little bit of the yellow tones because i want it to look more like a silver kind of platinum blonde so that's another update that i wanted to give you guys okay so now let's get to this vlog because i know i've been talking yeah. so much i'm already sitting in front of the window let me show you guys the first home decor update and i have to make my camera super dark so you guys can see the design because it's kind of hard because of the lighting is coming this way i have this window privacy because i do live in the first floor and let me kind of show you guys so you guys see there's a playground outside my apartment so there's always kids and people and i just don't like when people are looking inside my apartment i don't know if i'm the only one that is like that but yeah and i also don't want to have the curtains closed because obviously it's where i have all my plants as you guys could tell i know it looks dark right now but yeah i have all my plants here so i need the natural light so i used to have one that it was just white but i think it was getting old because it was starting to look yellow and it did look kind of dirty and i didn't like it so i ended up buying a new one and this one has this little designs which i find them so cute it kind of reminds me like of old windows 
you know, like those really vintage windows. And I did leave the top open. I always do because over here, they're not going to see me. I mean, that's kind of tall. And I like to see that the trees that I have outside. See, there's a couple of trees outside. I love those trees. So I still want some, like, natural lighting coming in. I still want to see the nature outside. I don't want to feel like I'm all closed in. So I do leave the top open and it's also good for my plants to get a little bit of sunshine in the morning okay the other update that i did and this one i don't know how i'm gonna be able to film this but i changed my curtains and i got these curtains right here look at the design they are so pretty okay let me see maybe if i move this way you guys can see better the design They have like roses and they are uh, see-through, which I like because if I wanted to like kind of close my window, but not really, I still have some light coming in. It's not like completely dark and they just, they just make the place look so much nicer, so much better. And I just love the design and I got these from Amazon and they were like seven bucks. I will link them for you guys down below and I can't believe how cheap they are because I have seen some that are like 20 to 30 bucks so I'm so happy like they were so so cheap there's I only bought two because in the middle I'm not putting nothing here because I have this shelf so either way they cannot go over this shelf so I leave the middle open and I just kind of place them on the side so this is how it looks from far away and I just feel like it goes perfect with my home decor. It just looks so cute. Like it just looks airy and I don't know, I, I love the look of it. So I really love those curtains and I really love the design of the window privacy and I am going to be linking both of them. Okay guys, so I'm really thinking of changing these frames right here, like removing them because I've been having them up in the wall for like almost a year i know it's been for like forever and they've been like this i haven't put nothing on them because i am so undecisive i don't know what to put i have seen a different prints that i like but then i get then time passes by and i look at them again i'm like yeah i don't really like that and they're so expensive i don't know why prints posters anything that are like these size are super expensive and I just don't want to buy something that I'm not going to like later on. And I'm going to regret and I'm going to pay like $50 for like one print. And then like I said, it changed my mind. So yeah, so I think I am going to get rid of those frames. I mean by now, since I haven't put anything, it's been a year. I'm pretty sure it's going to be another year and I'm not going to put anything. Okay, so let me remove them so you guys can kind of see how it looks. So this is how it looks without the frames. When I removed them, I was like, oh my god, like, it looks so weird because it's so empty and yeah, I don't like how empty it is. It is a really big space, as you guys could see. Let me kind of share with you guys my thoughts. Okay, one of the thing is, um, so over here in the bottom, I have this IKEA, um, I don't know, this is like a little shelf unit or i don't even know what it's called i think it's for like books like a bookshelf but i made it into my tv stand and then i have those baskets they're also from ikea and that's where i have my tv so my tv is kind of low as you guys could tell some people have told me to put it on the wall and that way i could have like this space open and i could decorate put more stuff here and that way all of this space there it won't be as open as it is right now but honestly, I don't I don't know. I don't like having TVs on the wall. That's just my preference. Also, I do live in an apartment and I don't want to make like really big holes and you know, mounting a TV just makes like a lot of big holes and I don't know. I just feel like I just can't do that. So, I'm not going to change this. I'm just going to keep it as it is. So, now that this whole <laughs> space is open, I'm just like, what do I put? So, I'm thinking of making a wall macrame hanging. Um, I'll insert pictures so you guys can kind of have an idea of the things that I've been looking at. I think that's going to be my best option to do that. And also, I like that idea because I could do like a little project. I like doing little projects. So, 
Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I decided to do the macrame wall hanging and this is how it looks right now. Obviously, it's not finished, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I'm going for. So these are the feathers and the colors I'm gonna be using is brown. This color kind of reminds me like a muted pink um, mauve -y color. And then I put it on this stick <laughs> that I got somewhere outside. <laughs> um, so that's how it looks. <laughs> and then I just put the, like, the little robe. And I'm gonna um, also use white. I don't know if I did mention, but I'm also gonna use the, um, the color white. So this is how it's gonna look, and but obviously it's gonna be more fill in here. I still feel like this space is too open. So I don't know if eventually I'm going to try to put something here. But for now, I'm just going to put that. And I'm going to show you guys how to do the macrame feathers right now. So what you're going to need is macrame cord. Use whatever colors you guys want to use. And then you're also going to need a dog's comb. I don't know if other regular combs will work. But this works better. As you guys can see, I already used it. So it has a little bit of fluffy things in here. And hairspray. So this is a hairspray that I'm using because that's all I have at home. But there's also um, fabric stiffener that you could buy on Amazon. I Since I already had hairspray, I'm just using this. Oh, and you're also going to need scissors, obviously, to cut the core. So I already made most of the long ones, um, the long feathers. So right now I want to make a short one. So you're going to grab your cord. And you're just gonna fold it like this and it depends how long you want your feather so here you guys could see how long my cord is um, I'm not gonna give you guys measurements because I am doing different sizes so it just depends like what size you guys want so I already made this feather which is a smaller feather so I'm gonna go base somewhat on this size um, for my other feather for this color and the core is yeah I cut it perfectly <laughs> the same size that I need so I kind of like measure it this way for me because I already made this one so you're just gonna cut another piece of core like this and you're gonna have to cut a lot of them so I would recommend doing this first just cut a lot of them um, this is how I'm doing it to make sure that they're the same size I just kind of put them together like this. You just have to do a bunch of this. Cut a lot of the cord on the same size. I am going to be doing that off camera, but I'm just going to show you guys right now how to stop your feather. Grab the first cord that you cut, which is this one, the one that is double. Grab one of the little cords and you're also going to fold it like so. Put it under the first cord like that go there grab another piece fold it as the same you guys see right there it's folded the same now I kind of pinch it grab the bottom cord this one grab the bottom cord this one lift the little loop Put the second core in there in the little loop. Pinch this, the bottom, and insert it in that loop. Like that. And then pull it. Okay? So let me do it again. I'm sorry if I'm not explaining this correctly. I'll link the YouTube uh, video that I saw how to make them. She explains it so much better than me, but let me do another one. Okay. So grab another piece of core, fold it, put it under the big core, this one. Grab another one, fold it, pinch the little loop, lift this, the bottom core, insert, maybe you guys can see that better, insert, the little loop 
and then pick up again the tail and then pull it do it without talking and then zoom you guys in so hopefully maybe if i don't talk it's easier for you guys to see Okay, so now you're gonna do that to the whole feather. Okay, so this one is gonna take me a while to finish. So now let me show you guys one that is almost half done. This one is a long feather. And as you guys could see, this one is half done, meaning that I already brushed one side. So you guys could see right here. This side is already brushed, this side is not. So now let me show you guys why you need a dog's comb. So, you're gonna brush out the to make the fringe okay you're gonna do it on the floor i would recommend putting something under because you don't want to scratch your floor obviously i do it in my rug but my rug is so dirty that i don't even want to show you guys my rug so i'm just gonna put this paper right here where i'm using this paper to spray it and i'll show you guys after like how i'm spraying it so right here you just do this this is the thing that I don't like because it takes forever. Okay, so you're going to keep on doing this. So I'm just going to finish this one off camera. Because that one's going to take me forever. But since this white one is already done, now I'm going to show you guys how to cut it. Okay, so you're just going to comb, comb. And then the bottom kind of put it, the bottom fringe, bring it down. So this is where you want to form the feather. You just kind of want it to go straight, straight, and then round, and then straight. Okay. Well, it didn't come out that bad. <laughs> it's not gonna be perfect, but I mean, if for me, it doesn't matter if it's perfect or not because once you hang it, it kind of hangs down, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so this is why you need the hairspray or the fabric stiffener because you want the feather to stay stiff because if not, when you pick it up, Everything's gonna be droopy and it's not gonna look like a feather. I just spray it with my um, hair sprainer. And I'm gonna do the front and then I'm gonna wait. I wait a couple hours when I feel like it's kind of dry. And then I flip it and I do the other side. And then by tomorrow, it should be fine. I let it like one day dry. Look at the mess that I left doing this. I have a mess everywhere. Um, so right now, I put them in like in this little paper, and then I was shaping them. See, they look more like feathers. Let me see. The long ones, it's kind of hard to shape it as a feather because they go like skinny and then pointy at the bottom. But you could tell on the white one, like this one's. This one really looks like feathers. Like these came out good. See? And these, since they're longer, it's kind of more hard to make it like this. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> um, unless if I made them like, I guess, more wide, like this one. But I didn't want those to be too wide. So, yeah. And then um, I end up using this spray, Stiffen Quick. I'll link it up for you guys. So this is meant for, this isn't the name, to stiffen stuff. Um, and this is what people use when they do like these kind of feathers. Because I noticed that the hairspray, yeah, it was working well. But then once I tried to put it 
in the wall for some reason like it was not staying in shape they would kind of like come down so I ended up buying this which it was not expensive it was like seven bucks and it works really well because they are really stiff now see like this one it's stiff it stays like in the shape that it is and that's what I'm doing right now those are you could tell they're still kind of wet and I just spray them right now and then I'm just finishing until they're completely dry so I could put them back in the wall and then that way I could clean this area because yeah it's a mess right now so the other home decor um, that I'm gonna change is gonna be here which I didn't mention to you guys when I filmed my desk area here I mentioned to you guys that I want to add a shelf so here it is I finally got it so this is not the color that it's gonna be right now I still need to stain it which is gonna be a dark color I think something close to this um, I don't know yet and then as you guys will see I was kind of starting already to put it in the wall but um, I just wanted to see like how high I want it this is like for the shelves like to hold the shelf i don't know what they're called so yeah so i place it there to see like how tall that i want the shelf and that is too tall so i am gonna move it down maybe like right here and right here which i know that doesn't seem that tall but the reason is if i put it all the way up here there's no light you can kind of tell see there's more light right here look it looks brighter here and it, look, it looks darker here so uh, I need to put it more down because I am going to be putting plants on there. So that's the main reason why I want to have that shelf. And then I remove my hats and yeah. So that's why I have a mess right now because I was trying that last night. I don't know if I'm going to film for you guys when I'm putting this shelf on there at wall. Because I tried to do it myself and I couldn't do it. So I'm going to ask my friend if he could help me. Um, and if he helps me, he's not going to want to be in camera. <laughs> so, uh, I, I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, but I will show you guys once, like, the shelf is there and it's all done. And then these are the ones that I'm actually going to put, which they right now don't have no color. They're just neutral. And I'm also going to stain them to kind of match on the shelf right here which like i said is going to be darker they're not going to match completely because as you guys can see that shelf it is darker than this but it's going to be somewhat like similar okay well i didn't think i was going to be able to do it by myself but i just did it <laughs> and i think i did pretty good let me show you guys like i you know i always say i don't need no man to help me do this kind of stuff i could do it on my own so let me just show you guys look at that level that's what i was concerned i was not gonna be able to have it like straight you know be level and stuff like that but i did that yeah i did that <laughs> i know this is not something hard to do but i still feel proud of myself you know i did it by myself i just wanted to show you guys my proud moment that i put the shelf on by myself i found the studs and I'm hoping it doesn't fall. Okay, so I already got the stain for the shelf. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna set it up outside. let me show you guys the shelf brackets so i was gonna stain them outside but you know it's my fault because i shouldn't have put them on the wall before until i stained them but i thought i was gonna be able to remove them and then put them back and i couldn't because i think they did hit a, the stud 
So now they don't want to come out, which is good though because that means the shelf is going to stay in place. But I couldn't remove them so I have to um, stain them inside. And this is how they look, which I already knew they were not going to be as dark. <laughs> Bella scared me. I was like, what is that noise? She just jumped on the little poop that I have right here. But yeah, I already knew that we're not going to come out the same color as the shelf because the shelf is really dark and these were lighter. The only thing I don't like that they don't stay even. See how it has like, it looks kind of patchy. But that's just the texture of the, what are these called? I keep on forgetting, the bracket. So that's just the texture of it and I can't do nothing about it. So it's just going to stay like that. I mean, it doesn't look that bad like the go. See, from far away, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe bring some character on it. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm done with the shelf. I'm just going to let it completely dry. And then I'm going to decorate it. And I'll show you guys the final result. I'm really happy how everything's coming out. It just looks so pretty. And the shelf, honestly, I didn't think it was going to match so perfect with my desk. Which, that's what I wanted. So here it is. I finished the macrame feathers. Look how pretty they came out. Honestly, I'm impressed. I wasn't expecting for them to look this nice. They actually look pretty good. And this is how it looks with the rest of my home decor. It really fills in that space perfectly. There is still a little bit of open here and open here, but I think that looks still fine. Yeah, I really like how it came out because at first it was not looking that cute, but now I really like it. So this is how my shelf looks now that everything is in place and it's all decorated. I don't know if I'm going to keep it this way like the stuff that I put on it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be changing things here and there in the shelf, but I just put this for now. I added this Potos plant that I'm propagating right now so it could get a couple more roots and then it's gonna be like a big plant here. And then I have hope for this one to start trailing down, which is gonna look really cute. I put some books, which I don't know if I'm gonna have books there or if I'm gonna be adding more plants, but I just put some books and then a little jewelry tray right there and then I have these that are from Ikea I have a little string of hearts propagating and then my rubber tree so yeah that's all I put in the shelf and this is how it looks now I did move a couple little things here in my desk I added this mirror which I spray painted it gold but I feel like it's too bright i wanted more like a vintage gold so i am gonna probably buy another spray and spray it again because i want it to look i want it to be more like this kind of gold this, see this one is too like in your face like too bright and then also another thing that changed over here i put my ikea drawers here that i usually have makeup but i'm gonna be using for other stuff and then I have this little basket. So yeah, so this is how this area looks now. If you guys have any other suggestions of things that I could put in that shelf, let me know. Because I like to redecorate and I like to move things around. And now I want to go thrifting because I feel like if I go thrifting, I will find like cute little things that I could add in the shelf. So for now, I'm just leaving it as it is. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas. Or even for my desk because... I'm pretty sure I'm also going to be adding more things in my desk. I'm also thinking like maybe getting rid of this picture frame right here and then put it something bigger here or adding some little string lights right here. I don't know. I just have so many ideas. As I change this area, I will always share with you guys. So that's it for this vlog. I know this vlog was super long, but I just wanted to share with you guys like all the little details that I've been changing like in my living room and also the little DIYs that I've been doing. So I hope you guys liked this vlog. If you guys did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and let me know in the comments what you thought, suggestions, anything you guys want to comment. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye my loves.